Hey guys, welcome back to Grind Don't Sleep. Today we'll talk about the shocking downfall of Dan Schneider. Let's head into it. The Beginning In a report for the New York Times in 2007, writer Jonathan D. marveled at an unusual situation. Nickelodeon had ordered 13 episodes of a show without knowing the title, cast or even seeing a script for a pilot. At first, I thought I must have heard this wrong. 13 episodes of a concept? D wrote, How was it even possible that a network who could have already scheduled the season's worth of a show that no one there seemed to know the first thing about? A Nickelodeon executive, D wrote, simply shrugged and said, It's Dan. The anecdote demonstrates the supreme level of confidence and reliance that Nickelodeon had in Dan Schneider, the prolific showrunner, producer, and writer, who was a powerful force at the channel for 24 years. Then, this week, Nickelodeon announced that Schneider would part ways with the network following many conversations together about next directions and future opportunities. Nickelodeon and our longtime creative partner Dan Schneider have agreed not to extend the current deal. Nickelodeon and Schneider said in a joint statement, since several Schneider's bakery projects are wrapping up, both sides agree that this is a natural time for Nickelodeon and Schneider's bakery to pursue other opportunities and projects. The network thanks Schneider's team for its immeasurable contributions to Nickelodeon. Schneider's departure might come as a surprise, but he still has three shows on his channel. Henry Danger, its animated spin-off, The Adventures of Kid Danger, and The Game Shakers, Deadline Hollywood, which first broke the story, reported that there had been complaints about Schneider's alleged behavior, including his well-documented temper issues for years. And now, he has come under fire online for tweeting pictures of his young female star's feet. Nickelodeon didn't respond to questions about Deadline's report. Schneider's representative declined to comment. On Tuesday, Page Six quoted someone who said Schneider has been a victim of false online smears and that his exit comes amid a change of management at the network, a disagreement over the ending of Game Shakers, and a fight over studio space. Kids Choice Awards The one and only Dan Schneider! It's hard to overlook how important Schneider, 52, was to Nickelodeon. Writers have described him as a Norman Lear of kids' television, the Aaron Sorkin of tween sitcoms, and teen TV's reigning champ who can't seem to touch an idea without turning it into stacks of cash for Nick. Schneider, whom the network gave his first Lifetime Achievement Award in 2014, had 10 hit shows and counting on Nickelodeon, starting with the sketchy comedy All That, commonly known for SNL for children. Back in 1988, Schneider was first recruited by Nickelodeon to host the second annual Kids Choice Awards. In 1994, his former head of the class co-star Brian Robbins co-created All That and hired Schneider as an executive producer and head writer. The show ran for 10 seasons. Many stories written about Schneider over the years mention his uncanny ability to know what children will find funny and his eye for spotting talent. All that featured Kenan Thompson and Kel Mitchell, who starred in a Robin Schneider spin-off, Kenan and Kel, in 1996. The East New York Times story reported the turning point in Schneider's relationship with Nickelodeon occurred when he added 9-year-old Amanda Bynes to the cast of All That after seeing her at a talent showcase with Robbins. The Bangers Nickelodeon executives tried to create a star vehicle for Bynes, but their attempts flopped. He reported, that is until Schneider took the reins. He created The Amanda Show in 1999, another sketch comedy series for Bynes, a talented impersonator could get loose. It was a massive success, and Schneider was suddenly seen as the kingmaker in the competitive world of children's TV programming. There's an element of magic to it. And so, when you find a grown-up like Schneider with a requisite mojo, you pretty much let him do whatever he wants. D wrote, he added that Schneider didn't mind admitting he required total creative control on his shows, and quoted Schneider as saying, Delegating is something that I don't do as much as people wish I would. This didn't seem to matter. Afterward, he seemed to have the keys to the Nickelodeon kingdom, always looking for the star of his next show among the supporting cast of his current hits. Drake Bell and Josh Peck were on The Amanda Show, which led to Drake and Josh. Jamie Lynn Spears starred on All That, which led to Zoe 101. Miranda Cosgrove, was a little sister on Drake and Josh, which led to iCarly. Victoria Justice was on Zoe 101, which led to Victorious. Jeanette McCurdy in Ariana Grande, second leads on iCarly and Victorious, which led to the co-starring vehicle, Sam and Cat. The Schneider Empire showed public signs of fraying with Sam and Cat in mid-2014. 
Nickelodeon, thrilled with its initial ratings for the 40 episode first season, a daunting number, as Schneider put it. This ramped up the pressure on everyone, including McCurdy and Grande, who were both in their early 20s and had eyes on singing careers. Rumors flew on a feud between the stars, and though they denied it, the show was cancelled after 35 episodes. While that was a rare miss for Schneider, he didn't slow down, creating Henry Danger, whose deadline said will be renewed for a fifth season. The New York Times wrote that Schneider's exit is notable, as the channel tries to combat failing ratings, citing research firm Moffat Nathanson, which reported the channel is down 22% among its 2 to 11 year old core audience. How is the future for him? Now the network is without its most influential producer, and there's no word on where Schneider is headed next. As Variety noted in a 2013 report about Schneider renewing his contract with Nickelodeon, he has the kind of control over his shows that he knows would be hard to command anywhere else. There are very few people in the entertainment business who have the level of creative control that I do. Schneider told Variety, Nickelodeon has always been generous in giving me a lot of latitudes. What do you think about Dan Schneider? Let us know in the comment section. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.